With continued coverage of the Uvalde community following Tuesday's shooting, CBS 4's Karina Vargas brings us more from those remembering the victims and those offering help along the way. Today would have been the last day of school before summer break for the children and teachers killed at Robb Elementary. Now so many are grieving and looking for answers, but Uvalde is finding strength in its community. We stay strong, we're going to stay strong, we've been strong, and we're going to get stronger. This is going to make us stronger. Uvalde residents continue honoring the lives lost. One resident tells us this small knit community is always looking out for each other, especially in times like these. Here is real good, it's a real small community, everybody sticks together, everybody knows one of another. So it's a real, real good community. Residents are paying their respects in front of white crosses that represent the 21 lives taken. While mourning, they're still looking for answers. Why isn't this stopped? Why didn't anybody do something more to stop this? People from all over have come to pay their respects, some groups even making their way from the valley. And we want to be here for them, to pray for them, and, you know, if they need a hug. As human beings, we got to take care of each other, no matter where you're from, what race, you know, first comes to love. Yes. And then, you know, like my wife was saying, you know, it's going to take time, you know, but love heals a lot. And we're told people will be here throughout the weekend to show their support and help out in any way they can. In Uvalde, I'm Karina Vargas.